Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27808. In this video, as always, we're going to discuss what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, talking about new features in this build, we don't have a lot of new features, but we have some interesting ones. First of all, Microsoft is introducing a new way of calculating the CPU utilization for the processes, performance, and users pages. And there's also a new optional column in the details tab that it can add whenever this feature rolls out for you. You can right click on select columns and here you're going to have the option to add the CPU utility column, which will show basically the previous CPU value used on the processes page. Next up on the Canary channel, of course, we also have the new option that allows you to edit or compress an image whenever you're trying to share it. I presented this feature in depth in the last video for the better channel, but I'm going to quickly show it to you also on the Canary channel. Whenever you right click on a file in the file explorer and click on share or just select it and then click on the share button. Of course, here we're talking about images. We're going to have the option to edit the photo or compress it. Whenever you click on edit, you're going to have this built in edit inside the share window where you can crop, adjust, filter, markup, and more. And also, whenever you click on compress, you're going to have the option to compress the image and then share it. Nothing will override the original image. The editing and the compression will only be done for sharing purposes. There's also a new Microsoft Store update, which has a few new interesting improvements. Of course, you need to go to downloads and then click on get updates to get all the latest updates for the Microsoft Store. But first of all, we have a new spotlight design. In the home page, Microsoft is trying a new design for the spotlight on the department pages that show off more products at a glance for users to explore. And there are also updates to the downloads page with new sections to display updates for Microsoft managed apps, which will be automatically applied and updates for publisher managed apps where you can update each independently. So as you can see here, we have this app, which is a Microsoft app, and we have this edition or watermark version notes for Microsoft Corporation. I think these are some pretty useful things that have been added to the Microsoft Store and also the downloads page. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. First of all, Microsoft fixed an issue related to gaming that was leading to some popular games like Roblox potentially having a bug check, a green screen in the last build. Related to printing, Microsoft fixed an issue where printing from some apps might cause a bug check, green screen on the last build. Related to search, Microsoft fixed an issue causing the search box window to be blank for some insiders when searching from the taskbar due to a background crash. There's also a fix related to the settings app and then graphics. Go to settings system and then display. This page would have crashed when you added a color profile. And also also, Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause color profiles to not load correctly after waking up your PC from sleep. They also fixed an issue where the colors in the new battery icon weren't displaying correctly when you have your mode and personalization and colors set to certain options with custom. There are also a few fixes to BitLocker. Microsoft did some work to improve the performance of loading early boot UI including BitLocker pin, BitLocker recovery key, and boot menu screens. Fixed an issue for a small number of insiders which was causing a BitLocker loop in the last build. Fixed an issue in recent flights where if you tried to run a Git BitLocker volume, it unexpectedly showed an error. And there was also an issue that was fixed related to Hyper-V that was fixed. There's also a known issue in this build. Microsoft is investigating a D3D9.dll crash, which is causing multiple apps to fail to launch starting with the previous build. This is still a known issue, but it will be fixed in a future build. So basically, this is the latest build for the Canary channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your manager from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.